At Dreamforce 24, we announced Agent Force for Developers is now GA, or generally available. As part of the GA release, Agent Force for Developers was revamped to include lots of new features, and those features are worth to highlight. My name is Alba, and stay with me because I'm going to cover all these innovations next. The shiniest of these innovations is Dev Assistant. Dev Assistant is a new multi torn chat interface that shows up when you open Agent Force for developers from the sidebar. Dev Assistant understands natural language queries, which means you can ask it questions or ask it for help, just like you would ask a coworker. Dev Assistant also has some commands available that can perform some actions for you, such as explain and document code or create tests. Behind the scenes, Dev Assistant is powered by a new in-house developed large language model called XGen Code. XGen Code has been built for providing a more conversational experience. It's been specifically trained on Salesforce developer use cases, and it surpasses other models in performance. And because it is self-hosted, its latency is minimal. Your Dev Assistant conversation begins with your prompt. For example, you can request to create an Apex class. From there, Dev Assistant goes through several steps. First, it does topic classification. This helps Dev Assistant ensure that it is not responding to inappropriate requests and prevents the generation of harmful content. Next, we run the context retrieval process, powered by retrieval of multi generation or RAG. RAG has access to all your local custom object metadata. And when you make a request, RAG rounds the code generation process, including this metadata. Plus, we add code snippets from your local workspace as additional context. Then we have the input prioritization step, where Dev Assistant analyzes your request, prioritizes your prompts, chat history, and different types of context, ensuring everything fits within the token budget. After input prioritization, Dev Assistant sends the prompt and context to the large language model, XGen. Once we've gotten the response from XGen, Dev Assistant performs PII detection and masking over it to protect sensitive information and it runs a toxicity scan to ensure secure and appropriate outputs. Finally, know that Dev Assistant, in contrast with the previous experience, allows to maintain a chat conversation and iterate to refine its output according to your prompts. In this video, we're going to focus on four features that are surfaced through Dev Assistant. Text to code generation, code explanations, code documentation, and tests generation. To get Dev Assistant to generate code, simply ask for it. For instance, let's ask it to generate an Apex method that books a given experience session for a given contact at Coral Cloud Resort. So Dev Assistant was able to generate a result but taking a look at it, I realized that I also want to allow customers to specify the number of guests for the booking. So something we can do is providing that information to the assistant so it can refine the result. And there we have. We were able to refine the result thanks to the new chat feature. Notice that custom objects and fields were correctly referenced, and this is thanks to retrieval of multi-generation. If I want to check what other methods do, I can ask the assistant to explain the method and it will generate a nice explanation of it. Now let's open an existing class. This class has some methods somebody else wrote, and it is not clear to me what they do. 
Something I can do is ask Dev Assistant to explain the method and it will generate a nice explanation of its goal. What's next? Do you see something else missing in this class? Documentation, of course. If I want to add documentation for the class, I can easily do it with Dev Assistant using the document command. Once the documented version of the class is ready, I can copy it and replace the original class entirely. Finally, let's say that I've realized that this method that we explained before doesn't have enough tests. We can use Dev Assistant to help us create new ones. You can launch the test command from the chat or you can right click your Apex method and select the command. First, you will be prompted for where the tests should go in, which class. Then you will be asked to indicate which tests already exist for this method and this will help the agent craft test cases that are not implemented yet. And there it is. This is the test that Dev Assistant was able to generate. Note that we are working on expanding this feature to support a more guided experience and also to support multiple test cases generation. That's all for today. In this video, you saw all the new Agent Force for Developers GA features and how they are exposed through Dev Assistant. No matter your level of expertise, Agent Force for Developers will be your peer programming ally and make you a much more productive developer. Now it is time to give it a try yourself. Agent Force for Developers is part of the Salesforce extensions for Visual Studio Code. So install or upgrade to the latest version and start using it today. I leave you here some resources that may be useful if you want to know more. And remember to connect with us by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell to receive notifications of more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.